those who, who are losers, those whose deeds shall be a waste, those who do a lot of deeds, but those deeds are a waste. قُلْ هَلْ نُنَبِّئُكُمْ بِالْأَخْسَرِينَ أَعْمَالًا Should I inform you of whose deeds shall be wasted? Who will be those who will be having deeds that shall be absolutely wasted? الَّذِينَ ضَلَّ سَعْيُهُمْ فِي الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا وَهُمْ يَحْسَبُونَ أَنَّهُمْ يُحْسِنُونَ صُنْعًا Those who think they are doing a lot of good but what they are doing is actually against what Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has taught. Why is this verse there? Let's understand that the Mufassireen have explained and the Ulama have explained that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's mission was to teach us every drop of goodness. So, مَا تَرَكَ خَيْرًا إِلَّا وَدَلَّنَا عَلَيْهِ وَلَا شَرًا إِلَّا حَذَّرَنَا مِنْ There is no form of goodness that he forgot to teach us. Nothing. So if we think that there is goodness that we can come up with, there is an act of worship that we think we should engage in. I want to read five raka'at of Salat al-Dhuhr because I feel that it is a very holy day, a, a, a very blessed day. Rather than reading four, I've got the energy. Let me add one more that automatically becomes a waste. We will waste our time and energy and effort. We are insulting Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because he taught us goodness and we feel no, there was something he left. He forgot to tell us that you know what? You are allowed to add a fifth rakat if you want. So this is something we need to think of. All the acts of worship we engage in, we should try and ensure that we have been taught them by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Because if we were not taught them, what was the point of engaging in them? We are basically saying indirectly that you know what? He forgot to tell us this, but this is part of deen. Let me do it. So Allah says, Those whose deeds are astray and yet they think they are doing good deeds. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us steadfast. And for this reason, at the end of the surah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Those who want to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala must ensure that all their deeds are in conformity to what Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has taught. And they must also ensure that they do not engage in shirk. They do not associate partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah protect us all. Amen. Alhamdulillah. We have the brains. We have the intellect that Allah has granted us. We need to think. Anytime we want to engage in an act of worship, do you know that if we have to draw up a list of those acts of worship whereby the whole Muslim ummah unanimously will tell us that there is nothing wrong with this. Then that list will be so large that if we start engaging in those acts one after the other, we will not have time for those type of deeds where half the ummah is debating with you whether it's permissible or not. Why must we even go to those deeds? When there are so many deeds that are unanimously agreed upon. If I want to engage in siwak, no one's going to argue with me. If I want to, for example, read my tahajjud, no one's going to argue with me. If I want to complete one Quran every three days, no one's going to argue with me. If I want to, for example, fast a day, leave a day, no one's going to argue with me. So there are so many acts of worship that we can engage in where the whole ummah will agree with us that there is nothing wrong with these acts of worship. Yet we find ourselves going into acts of worship which are very, very questionable where the ummah begins to debate, hey, this person is engaged in wrong and this is not substantiated in the Quran, not substantiated in the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and not taught to us by the ulama. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the respect of the ulama, the respect of Allah and the respect of his messenger. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us all. So that is in Surah Al-Kahf. A lot of us read Surah Al-Kahf on a regular basis, but do we realize that the message towards the end is telling us, make sure that whatever we do is taught by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because he has taught every point of goodness and we believe in it. He did not forget a thing. So if we feel we have come up with something different and something new, indirectly we are saying he forgot to teach that to us and that is a very very big insult to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.